Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to License to Fly, your ultimate talk show for uncovering the secrets of becoming a pilot. I'm Captain Ishita, your host, and I bring to you the latest scoop from some of the best pilots and experienced aviation experts. So if you've ever dreamt of soaring high in the skies, this is a talk show tailor-made just for you. So sit back, relax, and let's explore the captivating world of aviation together. Ready for takeoff? Let's go. Today, I'm at a special facility and in no way an ordinary one. It is a building behind the doors of which many aspiring pilots have embarked upon their journey to become line released first officers. I welcome you to the prestigious iFly Academy. So without further delay, let's go right in. As much as I'm excited to be here, it's an honor to be joined by Mr. Gurbaksh, our Director Ground Training Flight Operations. Thank you for joining me. It's my pleasure, Captain Dishita, and welcome to iFly. Thank you. I wish to learn everything about this academy from you. Things like what goes on here, number of classes, and what makes it so special. Of course, Dishita. I'd be very happy to tell you all there is in this amazing academy. The iFly Academy is Indigo's training center. Here all our pilots, cabin crew, engineers and ground staff get trained. It is also the starting point for the junior first officers before becoming line released first officers. So the junior first officers start with the technical classes. It is where they dive into the intricate technical systems of the aircraft like hydraulics, electricals, engines, and other systems for the aircrafts they'll be flying, be it the A320 or the ATR. It indeed is a crucial foundation for the career. As pilots, we need first-hand knowledge of the aircraft we are flying, right? Yes, absolutely. So what after the technical classes? Next up are the performance classes. In this phase, every aircraft must be flown within its designated flight envelope, never exceeding its limits. The junior first officers dive into the intricacies of takeoff, landing, and cruise performance tailored to this specific aircraft. A highlight of these classes is the hands on experience with the electronic flight bag, EFBs, enabling accurate and efficient parameter calculations. Gone are the old days when the pilots had to rely on manual calculations. This is way more advanced. Oh, yes, they are a game changer. Precisely. Now, once you complete your performance classes, next comes the aviation security classes. As we all know, safety and security are paramount in aviation. So in these classes, the junior first officers learn how to handle various security threats like hijacking, handling unruly passengers and responding to bomb threats. Right. And I remember taking the dangerous goods classes as a trainee. Can we talk about that? Here we learn about the regulations on what can and can't be allowed on an aircraft. As pilots, we receive training on handling situations involving dangerous goods and forbidden items, just like the list we receive when checking in as passengers. It is crucial knowledge for ensuring safety and compliance. That is so necessary. So is there anything specific to Indigo that they learn during their time at iFly? Yes. During the company's standard operating procedure and special operation classes, which include all weather operations like landing in rain, snow, low visibility takeoffs and landings, the junior first officers get familiar with Indigo's specific standard operating procedures and operations manuals. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us today. Thank you, Ishita. It was great talking to you. Wish you happy landings. Thank you, sir. That was Mr. Gurbaksh for you, one of the finest at iFly. With such mentors and coaches, you're bound to find your wings. And since we're talking about mentors, let's meet our next expert. So to explain the crucial mentoring and coaching program, we have with us the very talented and experienced duo, Captain Samir and Captain Mark. Hi guys, can we begin with your introductions? 
Hi, I'm Samir. As part of the mentoring team, I oversee the pilot mentoring program at Indigo. I'm Mark, and I look after the coach to pilot program here at Indigo. So I'll start with you, Samir. Can you tell me about the pilot mentoring program? What is it all about, and how did it come into being? Sure. So during COVID, the senior leadership team had the opportunity to reflect on existing processes and practices. The focus was on providing junior first officers adequate support and guidance during their formative years with the airline. The program basically links experienced pilots or mentors with up to three junior first officers or mentees each. The junior first officers are assigned a mentor immediately after they complete their initial ground training at iFly. These mentors provide insights, motivation, advice and guidance to further the mentee's professional careers, foster a sense of inclusion and help the mentees adapt to Indigo's culture and values. Oh wow! So how many junior first officers have benefited from it so far? The numbers are staggering. At last count, we had close to 1100 junior first officers who have benefited from the program. Over 400 hand-picked mentors have offered their knowledge, skills and experience. That's impressive. So now on to you, Mark. Can you tell us about the Coach the Pilot program? What is it about and how is it different from the mentoring program Samir was telling us about? Now what we had observed a lot of times during the line training of the junior first officers that we saw a lot of comments like need more preparation, advice to do more chair flying. Now we realized that while the trainers are flagging these points up, no one is giving the junior first officer any guidance on how to prepare for a flight or how to chair fly better. So the idea for starting this program came from there. So how is it different from the mentoring program? While mentoring focuses on career guidance and personal development, the coach, the pilot addresses the gap that we discovered. Now the gap that we discovered was primarily caused by two reasons. One is the lack of operational experience of the junior first officers. And the second one was no one to help them or guide them on the technical aspects of flying. So Samir, how do you envision the future of pilot mentoring program? So moving forward, senior first officers due for their command upgrade will also be assigned mentors to help them accomplish the next professional milestone. Since we already have a robust training system in place, this program focuses on Indigo's commitment towards the overall growth and development of its pilots. I wish we had such programs when I joined as a junior first officer. And being a mentor, I've seen the impact this program has had on the junior first officers and the mentors as well. You know what, Ishita? That reminds me of something. Recently, some of our mentees from the first phase rejoined the program this time as mentors, thereby completing what we call the Pilot Mentoring Circle, a true testimony to the success of the program. So Mark, can you also walk us through the coaching process? How are the sessions conducted and what topics are covered? Certainly. Now, each junior first officer is assigned a coach before they start their SLF, which is their supervised line flying. The sessions conducted take place on an online platform and the duration of the sessions last anywhere between one to three hours. The topics covered are chair flying and the various aspects that are required to successfully undergo line training. And we have guidelines that are passed on to every coach so everyone follows a standard program. In addition, we also have a robust monitoring process of all our coaches to ensure standardization throughout the program. That sounds very effective. I'm sure there must have been success stories from the Coach the Pilot program. Sure. Since the program was launched in June 2021, 600 plus trainees have gone through our program. Approximately 3,000 sessions have been completed and that consists of about 10,000 man hours of official online training. The number of times the lack of flight preparation was mentioned in the forms prior to implementation of the program was about 61%. After the implementation of the program, it's down to 13%. And just like Samir mentioned as part of the mentoring program, one of the most remarkable outcomes is one of our first trainees has now become a coach. That's incredible. It also sets a great example for all the junior first officers in the programs. It certainly does. 
Thank you both once again, Captain Samir and Captain Mark. Now you know why the Junior First Officer Training Program is so special. With great trainers, amazing programs and state-of-the-art facility, it has it all seamlessly assembled. Before I introduce our next expert, let me quickly take you through the post-ground training phase. The Junior First Officers undergo an enhanced program where they work alongside the check-in counter staff and gain insights into the roles of cabin crew and aviation medical officials. These sessions will surely make you appreciate the ground staff even more. Witnessing them is mind-blowing and seeing their dedication and hard work on each turnaround flight is truly incredible. And now for the final bit. Every story needs an impactful climax and for our junior first officers, the graduation day marks the culmination of a remarkable journey. Now, taking us through the grand finale at iFly's graduation day is Kushpu, who leads POIS training at iFly. Hi, Kushpu. Hi, Captain Nishita. iFly is truly amazing. Whenever I'm here, nostalgia takes over and I'm reminded of my training days. I must say, it has evolved beautifully. It has indeed. What stands out in my memory is the graduation ceremony. Tell us more about this special event at iFly. At iFly, graduation becomes an exceptionally special event infused with heartfelt emotions and warmth. Our leadership personally leads the ceremony, reliving the training highlights. It encapsulates not only the technical but also the holistic approach to aviation. At the same time, it's a heartwarming tribute to the sacrifices made by the parents alongside their aspiring pilots. The ceremony not only celebrates the mastery of flying skills, but also highlights the nurturing of leadership, teamwork and decision-making abilities. And Captain Nishita, what makes it even more special is the presence of those proud parents, those heartfelt speeches that resonates with every pilot's determination. And when it all comes together, it creates an environment and atmosphere which is filled with deep warmth and that's what makes this event an occasion truly, truly unforgettable. You know, it's a memory to treasure and Indigo truly feels like a unique family. Absolutely, no doubts about that. Before we conclude, Kushfu, could you tell us what makes life of a junior first officer at iFly so special? iFly embodies the essence of Indigo. It's personal and celebratory. It fosters a sense of belongingness, embracing our core values and every milestone experience is cherished here. It is a place where we embark on our journey, learning and embodying our brand's culture, from bomb greetings to seamless flights. iFly is where Indigo's identity takes flight. Well said, Kushbu. With that, we conclude this episode. Thank you, Kushbu, and everyone who shared insights about this prestigious academy. It is no wonder why I've heard such high praise for this place. And with that, it's a wrap. Another action-packed episode of License to Fly. I really hope you enjoyed it. But the adventure doesn't end here. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will dive deeper into the magical world of pilots and planes. Also, if you have any questions or comments, do drop them in the comment section below. You can also hit us up on our social media channels. You may now unfasten your seat belts. I'm Captain Nishita, signing off. Until then, blue skies and happy flying.